Good morning, everybody. I'm waiting till the sun comes up. It's coming that way to give me a little more light when it comes up. But uh, I, I wanted to make a video, but I was, I, I've was i been struggling with this video because I didn't want to make a doom and gloom video. I didn't want to get up here and be like, oh my God, man. Um, but, but I'm feeling the way I'm feeling and it is what it is, man. I, and, I, and I have to be as honest as I can. Um, I am desperately, desperately hoping for the, the success of Dak Prescott and Jason Garrett. Desperately. <laughs> I mean, I'm like, I'm like, you do, I, I, I'll, I'll completely explain why, because I know all of y'all are like, no, let's clean this whole thing up. Let me explain for a second. Um, this year, this year is the year. This is the year that, that, that uh, a lot of questions gonna be answered and we'll have, you know, clarity on what we should do moving forward. And, but in my, in my honest opinion, to win with this crew of Garrett, Lenihan, and Dak running the offense, chances are low. Chances are real low. Chances are real low. Okay, but this is here's the catch twenty two. I'm I'm hoping for that. That even that little chance. I'm hoping for that. We get to the playoffs and something happens. Oh my God, it happened. Chances are low, but. Chances are a little bit higher that we come back, play well against the Giants, Lions, end up two and two, play bad. They come back and play better, come play bad, and they come back and play better, play bad, come back and play better, and end up right there seven and nine, eight and eight, nine and seven. Then what do we do? If we, if I, and I've already explained to you guys what. That second quarterback, that second contract for a quarterback uh, is four. And you give that quarterback extra money because he can offset other things on your team because he's that good. He can offset bad, bad receivers. He can offset not that great of an offensive line. With, with whatever ability a quarterback has, that extra money offsets what he takes away from the, uh, from the football team. Um, Dak needs a full football team. So... Easily, if I didn't want Romo to get his money when he got his money, and I, I went into a mini little depression when Romo got his contract, I would lose it. I would literally lose it if Dak gets a, uh, a contract without us getting to the playoffs, without us having some real success that we can hold on to. I'm going to lose it. So, I mean, there's the catch-22. So, I, I, we're rooting for us to be very good. Um, and we don't get any changes unless we're very bad. But if we're right there in the middle, <laughs> where we've been for years, it's going to be fine. So I, 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 don't, I, don't, I don't know how to feel right now other than, like, please, <laughs> please. And, and, and it's really hard for me to go, please, Cowboys, because I have, I have literally this much confidence that Dak can get it done. Like that much, like like very little, you know. I know the things that he can he can do, but but it's just not working here with this organization. Blah blah blah, and it's not it doesn't look like it's going to work here with this organization. Um, Jason Garrett, I have a little bit less because he's been a little bit long here, but a little bit longer, and I've seen him not get it done with with Tony Romo, with with all the things that Bill Parcells, all the toys that Bill Parcells left him here with with, um, with talent and nothing, nothing. And then I have that in the organization. So, I mean, just barely have anything for the organization because Cowboy fans as old as me, we've been through the, that gap between Troy Aikman and Tony Romo, and it was excruciating. We, we lived under an organization that had no clue whatsoever what it was doing. No clue, kind of, kind of like what you're seeing now because they've reverted back to that. But it was bad in those days. And if we get rid of Jason Garrett, who are they going to hire? Because I have no faith that they hire someone that will be able to tell them what to do. You understand what I'm saying? Because the last time they did that, they and and the fan base. And the fan base kicked Bill Parcells and all his people out of here. 
So I, I don't know, I don't know who they're going to get that's going to be strong enough to do their thing when they get here. I, I, I just believe they're going to hire a name uh, or, or someone where they can control and make them do what they want them to do because they're so narcissistic and so, um, what's the word? They, they won't uh, admit they're wrong ever, ever. I'm trying to think the, think of the word, but they won't admit they're they're wrong ever. So they'll hire a coach and say, "You'll do it our way, the cowboy way," blah blah blah, with no success to, to to point to of how their way is any good, and we'll move on the same way. But it's 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 the, my my main problems: Dak, Garrett, and the confidence in the organization here. So I'm left here rooting. For Dak Prescott and Jason Garrett, because on the other side of that, I don't know what it is. And I've been there before. And you other Cowboy fans as, as old as me, you've been there before with Campo and, and Gailey and Quincy and Hutchinson and Jerry Jones going through the trash can looking for quarterbacks. Still, won't invest in a quarterback. All right, guys, I'll holler at you later. I, I've tried, man. We're not doing good right now. I tried to make a, a positive video. It's not good. The sun still ain't up. The sun still ain't up. All right, I'll holler at you later. Bye.